as you can see, I've given the body of the Batmobile a nice coat of black. Um, this is going to get a matte coat to match the finish from the first movie. But what I've done is set up one of the headlights. Now, it took a couple of attempts to get this right, and um, I'm going to switch gears and show you my setup. So here's the pot for the passenger side headlight. Um, as you can see, it looks a little uh, rough right now because my original plan didn't work out uh, the way I had anticipated, so I've had to uh, reconfigure. Anyway, so I drill the hole closer to the outer edge. I'm going to go ahead and actually glue the lens on. It actually goes on before the pot goes into the car. Now the lens is done and dry, I'm going to paint it with Tamiya clear yellow on both sides actually. Just the outer surface and the opening I made for the LED in the back. And there we go, we're going to let that dry and move on to the next step. While that's drying, I want to show you what I'm using for the lighting. This is a 3020 pre-wired surface mount LED that I got from Jerry at HDA Model Works. Now these things are pretty wonderful, they're very versatile, and as you can tell from the scale here, pretty small. So it definitely fits the needs of working in tight quarters. The one thing I have done is altered the resistor. Uh, Jerry sends it with, I believe it's a 520 ohm resistor, which is perfect for you know, making sure the light doesn't burn down under 9 or 12 volts. Um, however, it was way too bright for my needs. So I did some experimenting and put a 3000 kilo ohm resistor on it. And that stepped it down quite nicely. Still, still very bright, but uh, not overwhelming like in my first test. So let's plug it in and uh, you can see what's what. As you can see, it throws a lot of light. So what I'm going to do once everything is dry on the pot is install that from the back. And um, we'll have ourselves a nice amber glow for the headlights. So installation is pretty much uh, as you see here. Uh, the hole I drilled is large enough. The diameter is large enough for the... Uh, surface mount LED and I'm just going to lock it down with some hot glue. And just like that, um, let's do a test and then put it in the car. And there we go, just like that. All that's left is to uh, install the body. And there we go. We've got two headlights. Um, overall pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, so now it's on to the taillights. And for the last little bit of lighting, this is the uh, lights for the jet engine. And I used a flickering LED. So we can start buttoning up the, uh, the body now.